Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movies that make you afraid of going on a road trip. For this list, we're focusing on films that involve a road trip somehow and that are most likely to make you squeal. Naturally, beware of spoilers. What do you think is the scariest road trip flick out there? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Dead End Holiday road trips are typically fun, but when there's family involved, anything can happen. In this French horror flick, Dad strays from his usual routine, and the consequences are deadly. One by one, the Harrington clan disappears, with the backwards making everybody crazy, along with a mystery hearse. Oh no! Dead End was made on the cheap, but the horror is effective. It reminds you that a bad driver can make you nervous, but a reckless driver will make you afraid. In this case, Marion Harrington must decipher what's real and what's not, at least if she wants to survive the madness. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Number 9. Joyride Road trips are about spontaneity. Just ask Lewis Thomas, who buys a Chrysler Newport, picks up his love interest, and even helps out his bro in John Dahl's American Thriller. Nobody knows the road like truck drivers, of course, and things go south when the gang horses around with a CB radio. Well, Rusty Nail, I hope you're doing better than I am. Man, this drive seems like it's taking forever. In Joyride, a simple prank leads to fear and paranoia, with death not far around the corner. Lewis, Fuller, and Venner can't predict what Rusty Nail will do, but they do learn that he's not fooling around. Candy Cane, are you there? Oh, that's right. I don't mean my Candy Cane. I mean yours. And so, this joyride is buzzkilled by pure road rage, with the baddie overcoming all obstacles to inflict his revenge. Number 8. House of a Thousand Corpses in Texas, there's plenty of land to explore. Then again, there's also plenty of evil lurking in the shadows, apparently. In Rob Zombie's horror flick, he utilizes classic genre tropes to highlight the dark side of road tripping. A kind gesture leads to a bizarre family dinner, and poor communication reveals a horrible family secret. My baby boy gets shy around new people, but he'll warm up to you, especially the girls. <laughs> oh, he's a real lady killer. And so, House of a Thousand Corpses reveals a nasty web of terror, and it all could have been avoided if the road trippers weren't so curious about Dr. Satan. Until today, no trace of Dr. Satan has ever been discovered. But then who knows? Maybe he lives next door to you. They put their trust in Baby, and Baby takes them directly to hell on Earth. Number 7. Wolf Creek In this bloody horror, fear arises through anticipation. Two British tourists and a Sydney native explore the Australian outback, and their lust for life, or naivete, leads them to Wolf Creek National Park, and a friendly man named Mick Taylor. What the bloody hell are you mob doing out here? Scare the shit out of me. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, it's all just an act, as it's all just a part of a deadly game. The extreme violence is terrifying, and the raw visuals contrast some of the more stylistic horror films. Settle down, you know, that's not gonna kill ya, right? 
Yeah, I got a ball out of me neck and I'm not whinging, am I? No. Directed by Greg McLean, Wolf Creek will make you think twice about road tripping, as the subjects are victimised for their trust. Number six, death proof. This car is 100% death proof. Only to get the benefit of it, honey, you really need to be sitting in my seat. Road trips can feel liberating, but some people take unnecessary risks. In Quentin Tarantino's grindhouse flick, a killer named stuntman Mike McKay cruises around in his roll caged rig while strategically intimidating his victims. So when he spots a trio of thrill seekers, he makes sure his presence is known. Get ready to fly, bitch. Regardless of the end result, Death Proof is a public service announcement for reckless road trippers, especially those who make an extra effort to be badass. In Death Proof, the mix of sensuality and intrigue is merely a method for the madness. <laughs> hey! Ladies! That was fun! <laughs> Number 5. Wrong Turn There are many reasons not to road trip in West Virginia, one of them being inbred killers with a taste for their own kind, at least according to this film. But for the collegiate road trippers in Wrong Turn, they're mostly worried about flat tyres. A simple twist of fate leads them deeper into the woods, bringing them directly to evil. <laughs> With a narrative supposedly based on urban myths, Wrong Turn reminds us that some roads aren't meant to be explored and that you can't always be sure if you're trespassing. Mind your P's and Q's in mountain territory, otherwise the locals will be on your trail if you make a wrong turn. We're going to find a road, we're going to get to a town, and we're going home. We're going to get married, all right? And we are never going into the woods again. Number 4. Psycho Alfred Hitchcock classic, it's not about what you see, but how it makes you feel. Marion Crane needs money to get married, and a criminal act puts her on the road to California, with a stop at the Bates Motel. It doesn't go well. Psycho paved the way for psychological horror, in which violence is implied rather than shown. By killing off the lead, Hitchcock suggests that nobody is safe, both in the movies and in the real world. <laughs> Some filmmakers rely heavily on dialogue and gore to scare you off the road, yet Hitchcock does it through the setup. Number 3. Nocturnal Animals Road trips are about the moment. With Nocturnal Animals, director Tom Ford provides a terrifying spin on family outings, as the inciting incident is part of a meta-narrative. Enjoy the absurdity of our world. It's a lot less painful. Believe me, our world is a lot less painful than the real world. In West Texas, Tony Hastings hits the road at night with his wife and daughter. They're in the middle of nowhere, and a group of baddies show up, setting the stage for a deadly chapter in Edward Sheffield's fictional narrative. You know you're supposed to stop when there's an accident, right? Yeah, I know that. And why didn't you stop there? In Nocturnal Animals, the roadside terror feels authentic, made even worse by the final outcome and Tony's complete desperation. It's fun to kill people. You of all people should try it sometime. Fun? It's fun to kill people! Number 2. The Hills Have Eyes In this Wes Craven classic, Bob Carter learns a valuable lesson. Listen to the local gas station owners. You gotta stay on the main road now, you hear? Stay on the main road! He doesn't, of course, and so a family road trip is shattered in The Hills Have Eyes, as the Carter family comes face to face with pure evil. Ladies there, you there, then you see. Uh... 
movie suggests that hard work pays off, but this horror flick will teach your kids a different type of lesson, evidenced by all the hillside fails. When navigating the Great American West, it's probably best to just keep your hands at 10 and 2. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honourable mentions. The Hitcher. If you needed another reason to not pick up hitchhikers, this thriller's got it. Could have walked very far. Why is that? Because I cut off his legs. Duel. Steven Spielberg's directorial debut will make you think twice about tailgating. Vacancy. You should probably take blood curdling screams as a sign not to book a room at a motel. Hey, folks. Hey. How can I help? Everything uh, okay back there? Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre Just the title of this horror flick will give many people the heebie-jeebies. The location is established, while death, a specific manner of death, is implied too. Sally, I hear something. Stop! Stop! As you may have guessed, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre takes a dark turn when a group of kids decide to investigate a graveyard at night. In Texas. As the title suggests, the gang has a rough time after picking up a hitchhiker who takes them directly to Leatherface. <laughs> He's an iconic baddie of the horror genre, and let's just say he's got more than a few tricks up his sleeve. The moral? Don't road trip. Ever. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.